Welcome to a lesson on the intercepts and turning points of polynomial functions. Sometimes these topics are referred to as short run behavior of polynomial functions. So if we're given a polynomial function of degree n, it gives us information, it gives us information about the graph of the polynomial function. The function has at most n x intercepts or horizontal intercepts, which means it also has at most n real zeros and the function has at most n minus one turns. Let's take a look at some examples. Here we have a degree four polynomial function, which means the graph will have at most four x-intercepts. And in this case, notice how the graph does have exactly one, two, three, four x-intercepts. And again, because the degree is four, the function will have at most n minus one or in this case, three turns. Again, looking at the graph of our function, notice how the function turns here, it turns here, and it turns here. So we do have exactly n minus one turns for this polynomial function. Notice when the graph turns, we either have a high point or a low point on the graph, which will always give us a maximum or minimum function value at that location. Let's take a look at another degree four polynomial function. Again, the degree is four, but notice in this case, even though it's a degree four, we only have one, two x-intercepts, which again is fine. Remember, it says at most four x-intercepts. So having two intercepts still satisfies the conditions listed above. And also notice this degree four polynomial function only has one turn here. So it doesn't have exactly n minus one turns, it's at most n minus one turns. So anything less than three turns in the polynomial function could still be of degree four. And one last thing to mention here about the n behavior, notice how the leading coefficient in this first example is positive one. So because we have an even degree and a positive leading coefficient, as x moves to the right or approaches positive infinity, or as x moves to the left and approaches negative infinity, Notice how in both cases the graph is moving up and therefore in both cases f of x approaches positive infinity. However, in the second case, when the degree is even and the leading coefficient in this case is negative, as x approaches right or approaches positive infinity, or as x approaches left approaching negative infinity, notice in both cases the graph is going down and therefore f of x is approaching negative infinity in both cases. Now let's take a look at two examples of a polynomial function that has an odd degree. Here we have a degree five polynomial function, which means we can have at most five x-intercepts. Let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have exactly n x-intercepts, which is the most we can have for a degree five polynomial function. Now let's see how many turns we have. We have a turn here, one, two, three, and four. Remember we can have at most n minus one turns. Five minus one is equal to four. So in this case we have the most possible turns for a degree five polynomial function. And then for a second example of a degree five polynomial function, again we can have at most five x-intercepts and four turns. Notice in this case we only have one, two, three x-intercepts and one, two turns. So if we didn't have the equation for this polynomial function, we may think this function would only be a degree three polynomial function, which is possible. A degree three polynomial function could have the same short run behavior as this function here, but because we have the equation, we know it is a degree five polynomial function. Let's finish by talking about the end behavior of these odd degree polynomial functions. Notice how for this first example, the leading coefficient is negative one. Whenever we have an odd degree polynomial function and the leading coefficient is negative, as x moves to the right or as x approaches positive infinity, notice how the function is going down. F of x is always going to approach negative infinity. And as x approaches left or approaches negative infinity, notice how the graph goes up. So as x approaches negative infinity, F of x will always approach positive infinity. And it's just the opposite when the degree is odd and the leading coefficient is positive. 
As x approaches positive infinity, notice how the graph goes up. So f of x approaches positive infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, or x moves left, notice how the function goes down. So f of x approaches negative infinity. We had a whole other lesson on end behavior or long run behavior, but I wanted to throw this in as a review. Okay, I hope you found this lesson helpful.